It's one of the seven wonders of the natural world. The Australian government wants to ensure it's around for future generations to enjoy. We recognise that the reef faces a number of challenges. We've had significant bleaching events in 2016 and in 2017, as we reefs around the world, and the Great Barrier Reef is no different, deal with heat stress. Researchers say a third of the reef was cooked to death as water temperatures rose one degree above average in 2016 and 2017 due to a combination of climate change and the El Nino weather cycle. Coral reefs are home to around 25% of ocean life, but coral bleaching has destroyed nurseries for many kinds of young fish, meaning only the toughest species have survived. The bulk of the new money will go towards improving water quality, but not everyone has welcomed the announcement. The problem with these things, as I said, with the reef package, is it makes people think something's really being done. And it's amazing that these reef packages always come forward just a few months before the World Heritage Committee is going to meet again, UNESCO, to see whether we should uh, be put on the in danger list. The Australian government hopes its conservation work will inspire other countries to follow its lead. We are spearheading a group uh, amongst Commonwealth countries, many of whom um, manage significant coral reefs in the Caribbean, in the Pacific, in the Indian Ocean. And they look to Australia to provide the technical expertise, the scientific research and the best practice management of coral reefs. But conservation groups say the government is ignoring the biggest threat to the reef, climate change. They warn if emissions continue as they are, the Great Barrier Reef won't survive. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.